everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's really kind of belated and um, a little bit behind everyone else, but today I thought I'd do my 2012 favourites. I haven't got the list of um, kind of favourites everyone else does because I don't, a lot of them I didn't have favourites of, so I thought I'd just do my own favourites. There's only a few, it's only going to be a small video, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you what I have. So let's get going! Okay, my favourite number one has been a makeup product. And I bought this Hoola bronzer by Benefit. My camera doesn't do autofocus, although it's trying to right now. I don't really understand how, but yeah. Um, and I adore this. And as you can see, I have uh, pretty much run out. I dropped it and so it crumbled. Um, but I absolutely love the colour. I use it every single day and I have used it every single day, every single day since June. I don't always use a blush. I'm wearing one today. But I always, always, always wear a bronzer, even if I'm not wearing anything else. Bronzer and mascara, that's what I wear. I have two more makeup products. The other one would be one I bought actually in the last few weeks of um, December. So only a very short period of time was it a favourite in 2012. But it was this, which is the Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara by Revlon. Um, it is in shade 001, which is blackest black. And it's apparently meant to make your eyelashes grow. I haven't used it for the whole time I've had it. I've had, used it once and I kind of left it. I used it for a week non-stop, so I'm really enjoying it. This is what it kind of gives, the couple of coats. It's kind of clumpy, but I really like that look. Kind of a really fake look. It's really wet um, formulation, um, but I feel that it makes your eyelashes look really black and I like how it looks. So, yeah, and plus it's only like £5.99, so bargain. Last makeup favourite of 2012 was what everyone else liked really, which is a Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Concealer. I don't really know the full name because as everyone else says, it has rubbed off completely off the tube. This is in colour number or shade number 2, which is light. And I still have loads left. It comes with a little wand applicator or sponge tip applicator even. And um, I really enjoy it. It's so thick. It covers everything. I don't use it on my under eye circles because I feel like it looks like a bit cakey under the eye. Um, and I like a bit of a lighter look. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. And plus that's, a, as you would call it, a drugstore makeup. So it is about £4 a tube, which again, is a bargain. As for nail polish of 2012, I have two favourites. Um, but one of them is made up of four. Um, one of my favourites is kind of just a general thing, and that is, let me just uh, swap this out of my hand, glitters, oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. This one is by Barry M, it is their 244 hologram um, nail polish, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got big chunks of holographic glitter in just a clear polish and it looks gorgeous. Um, I have this, which is by H&M, which I don't think it has a name. Oh, it does. It's called Confetti. Sadly, the red confetti, it's called all different sort of coloured confetti. The red confetti is sort of bled into the um, clear polish. It doesn't quite look as nice as it did. It used to look in the tube, but it is a really gorgeous nail polish and a real bug, and I think that's like £1.99. I have this, which is by Elegant, which is by a Greek brand called Gambrini. Oh, and it's in number 362. It's like um, holographic kind of tassels. So I don't know how to explain it. Like long strips of glitter with a couple of glitter sparkles in there as well. It's really, really gorgeous. And then this, which is Model's Own um, Juicy Jewels um, nail polish. And it's completely like dried up on me and become this gunky mess in the tube. I did try with the nail, pol the nail polish remover trick. But uh, it hasn't worked. But it just looks so nice in there that I leave it in my collection. My last favourite from, from 2012, and it's pretty much been my favourite since I visited uh, Skiathos in Greece. Uh, this was about, I don't know, well, it's about six, seven years ago. Um, and I saw for the first time a girl wearing neon pink nail polish. And I was like, oh my lord, I need that in my life. I bought a pot of the nail polish when I was out there in Greece. And then I have bought them every single year I've been to Greece since, um, and which has been every single year, so eight years, eight different tubes times by a few different colours. I love the colour on my toenails, I love it on my fingernails, I wear it all the time in the summer, in the winter, I absolutely adore it and I will use it pretty much for the rest of my life I pretty much think. Um, this is from the Greek brand, also Gram Gambrini, or Gabrini, um, and it's Pacific, which is the brand name I guess. 
Uh, it's number 70, but I can't read what anything else says because it's because it's all in Greek. I apologise. Another big favourite of 2012 was this. And this is the Tangle Teaser, and everyone has been talking about this. Again, I bought this um, in June time. Maybe a bit later than June. I Instagrammed... Sorry, there's loads of hair in it. I'm picking it out. I Facebooked or Twittered. I think I tweeted a picture of this when I bought this. And I absolutely adore it. Um, I have, as you can see, a lot of hair. It's really thick. Um, it's really curly and really crazy to manage. Um, and But I always use a tangle teaser I'm in the shower or to kind of... Oh, that didn't help. Um, to try and just get it looking a little bit more manageable in real life. I have this tangle teaser, which is the original. I also have, with a nice clump of hair attached to it, Ooh, I have the Tangle Teaser Aqua Splash, which I got this Christmas. I use this in the shower, I use this more out of the shower now, but they are brilliant and I love them. I have two shoe favourites of 2012, and I bet you're thinking, two shoe favourites? But you only had three makeup favourites. But that's because shoes are my thing. I buy hundreds of shoes every single year. I don't keep them all, sometimes I sell them on eBay. I try and wear them, but then I just fall in love with them and I need to buy more. Um, but yeah, these are... I guess I'll get my flats actually, they'll be. And my favourite flat shoes of 2012 as they're slightly less exciting than my heels will be my um, chestnut mini Uggs. I absolutely adore these and I've worn them you know, to death already. I bought these in August because last year I really wanted them but they sold out in my size everywhere by the time I went back to uni. Um, so I bought them before I went back and they're just absolutely amazing with um, skinny jeans, with tight, well no actually I just wear them in skinny jeans. With skinny jeans, with leggings, they look absolutely amazing, and I love them. They were £113, I feel, oh no, £130, but I got a student discount off that, which is 10%, so I think they were like £113 when I bought them. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore them, and I live and die in Uggs. I'm sorry if you don't like them. And my favourite heel of 2012 was a heel that my boyfriend actually bought me, I think back in September or October time, and they're these. Whoa, they are six inch wedges. They're called Greta um, by Kurt Geiger. I'm covering up a little uh, nick in the leather that I may have caused when I was a little bit intoxicated <laughs> one time. But um, they're nude uh, leather and they are just, actually, I think they're a synthetic, they're not actually a leather, but they are gorgeous. And Kurt Geiger is an amazing brand. These are KG by Kurt Geiger. I think they might still be online. You have a little look but they're just so so comfortable these straps are really kind of hold your foot in this is really padded under the sole and of course because it's a wedge you can walk in it forever and because they're nude they go with everything and just to prove to you because my mum worries that I don't well doesn't she doesn't worry but my mum always says that I don't wear my shoes these used to be grey underneath the whole sole I have worn these a lot just to show you and I'm gonna wash my hands don't worry my favourite clothing item of 2012, I am wearing it. It is this denim shirt, which is actually from Top Man. I got this when I was looking at university, so this was back in 2009. Oh, it's before I went to uni, so it was. It must have been the winter of 2009 I got this in Nottingham Top Man. Weird. Um, I didn't actually end up in Nottingham, I'm down south, but hey-ho. Um, and also this, which is a leather or actually faux leather jacket from Topshop which I got this year and I've worn it non-stop ever since I bought it. I wear it out, you can't really see it but I will, um, I'm sure there's a picture on Twitter, I will see if I can link. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It's so, I think really cool looking. It makes any outfit look better with it on than a big coat. And it's got this lovely little kind of lapel here with the zip kind of little effect not effect because it has actually a zip but zip <laughs> and a pocket long sleeves and it's slightly cropped which works really well because I am only five foot three so I think cropped things look better on me but yeah that is oh no I have a list sorry I haven't finished that's everything kind of material favorites of 2012 so on to things kind of non-material <laughs> 